Welcome back, hope that you're all okay and that you've had a good week. Uh, so today we're going to do what actions is your person going to take towards you. So we're going to nip into the future today. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I opened up a Facebook last week, Facebook for Mystic Love Tarot, you can just go find that. Those of you that aren't on Instagram and are on Facebook, go and have a search for us. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, readings, uh, I do single questions for $11.11 and they're over email. We also do 15 minute half hour readings. I know I've had quite a few inquiries this week, so I just want to shout it out in the video so you can you can all know, basically. 15 minute, half hour, or single questions. Facebook account is opened, Instagram account is there, um, website's up. Go have a look. Go, go knock, your, knock yourself out, as we say in England. Okay, don't ask me to say that in Brazilian yet. I can't do that yet. Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. Okay, deck number one and deck number two, what actions are they going to take towards you? So think about you, think about your person, and we're going for very masculine decks today. We're going to go right into their energy. Oh, that's gone heavy. Okay. It's Pops. I tried to get her on the, sit on my lap to open the thing, but she's really camera shy. Every time I get a camera on her, she hides. Okay, let's go. Can you get me into deck number one's energy, please? You're being shy. Deck number one's energy. Okay, that's you. Not right. Think about your person. Can we get into the collective's energy of that person? So, as always, as you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So, if anything doesn't resonate, it's most likely to come up later or um, you're not in that strongest energy of everyone else, okay? Which is cool. Um, but if that's, if you know you need more clarity on it, just drop me an email and we can get private readings done. Okay, can we get into thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of their person? Take the people's energy out, watching and get into their people's. And um, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes and then we are going. I just got, um, <laughs> this is Halloween, this is Halloween, do, 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 do. so Halloween is coming up as a timing for some of you guys, uh, around the Halloween period, I wouldn't say directly Halloween, uh, but around that time frame that is coming through in the cards um, for actions towards you, it might not even be massive, massive actions, but there's definitely a shift in universal energy at that point. So regardless of your individual circumstances, if you're third party, if you're single and you're in love with someone, if you're in separation, uh, it'll work on the strongest mutual energy. What actions is that person going to take? Two, three, four, five, you want ten, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what actions are they going to take? At the moment, um, your person is feeling quite alone, quite isolated, feeling quite stuck in the situation, um, unsure what movement they need to make towards you. Now, what they are doing at this moment in time is they're thinking through their thought processes. And there's going to be a direct number of opportunities that are coming towards you, mainly two different types of opportunities your person is going to take. Some of your people are going to act on heart-centered energy, some of your people are going to act on sexual energy, and some of your people are going to act on a more stable, secure energy. Now, the energy you actually, you're going to say, oh, we want them to act on love, or we want them to act on passion. The stability and the security is more the energy that you want your person to act on, because that means there's going to be some kind of offering from for a future with you and them. Um, so... There's different, at the moment they're feeling a little bit alone, they're thinking about you, you are at the back of their mind um, and they're working out if there's a way that this could possibly work and there's these two opportunities going to be coming in, um, again um, I'm saying two but they're mixing uh, passion and love and spirit are mixing passion and love in one and stability and security in the other. So 
it's kind of split between everyone watching. Some of you guys, they're going to act on the sexual love energy. And some of you, they're going to act on the stable, secure energy. So it's going to be a bit of a mix up between the two. Now, if your person decides to act on sexual energy, please bear in mind um, when they're saying that they are interlinked with love, please bear in mind uh, that your people, we spoke about this before, they act on the sexual energy rather than the heart-based energy because it's just easier for them. It doesn't make them feel so vulnerable. Um, and if they're acting on the stability and security side of things, they kind of got their head a little bit more together rather than being a scaredy cat. Um, they've put their big boy slash girl pants on and realise that they need to kind of make stable moves towards you. So two types of opportunities split between you all um, and it's going to come from this period of feeling very very alone and this counts if they are still if they are with someone else it still counts okay um, there is still this um, feeling alone opportunity one way or the other way movement towards you roughly uh for, for halloween came through so around that time period not for all of you it is a collective timing um if you want to look at individual timings just give me a shout but that's where your collective timing is currently residing so new feeling alone new opportunities stepping into the equation now what's happening in this moment in time is that your person is um feeling like we said feeling quite alone but they're also starting to kind of get their shit together a little bit they're starting to realize that there's more going on in this situation than meets the eye they're starting to realize that there is a higher spiritual thing at play even though a lot of them don't want to admit it because they're again they're scaredy cats um they're starting to get their shit together realize that they've got to do something about this situation or they will either lose you or that you're just not going to be bothered and interested in and them anymore spirit have just knocked into my energy really quickly and said if you are chasing them please stop chasing them at this moment in time and um, because you are pushing them away so if any of you were kind of texting them a lot not that you are all of you but if some of you if there's like two or three of you please stop because you're going to push them away um your person just kind of going with the flow of it at the moment they are up and down in their emotions feeling a very very alone they haven't got anyone they can talk to about the situation as a whole as your collective energy um there is a couple of them that have got really good friends they do open up a little bit but again they only tell a kind of surface level energy they don't say what's going on underneath it all um so the feeling that isolation um and getting their shit together in their head and kind of just going with the flow of the energy um and this is why it's important that at this moment in time you don't message them as like quite a lot you know it's important that you give them that space they've got to have this time away from you or in in you know backing away a little bit because it's going to make them realize what life is like without you and that's where the isolation is going to come in more because suddenly if you're going to just suddenly stop texting or stop calling or stop chasing or whatever equivalent they're going to they will in a couple of weeks time start to panic and go oh my god what's life like without them so they are just going with the flow of it at the moment, getting their shit together, feeling more stable, thinking at the moment, whatever your individual circumstances are, spirit saying that your person is thinking that they've made the right choice at the moment, um, but the longer time period that you have apart from one another or in separation or wherever, whatever energy you guys are currently in, that loneliness is going to come in. And they are going to feel this kind of heavy burden on them. And that's where these opportunities are going to step forward. Um, at the moment, again, feeling a little bit stuck. Some of them are focusing on family. So again, if you're third party, um, if it looks like they are having a really good time with their family, especially with it being the school holidays at the moment, they are just trying to get away from their um, intrusive thoughts, spirit saying, get away from their intrusive thoughts. They don't want to be, you know what it's like when you're alone and you start thinking and you think and you start spiralling into that negative energy. We speak about this a lot. Only takes that thought 17 seconds to manifest. Now your person is actually doing that at the moment. So this is why they're either, if they're third party, they're kind of focusing on where they are at the moment. If they're not third party, they're focusing again, kind of where they are at the moment on their family. Okay, so parents, sisters, brothers, loved ones, friends, they're focusing on that and that's to stop them spiralling in this negative momentum because they're going to start feeling quite alone. So there's this focus over here, it's kind of like a bit of a distraction. Uh, with that distra distraction, if family doesn't resonate, this will be escapism and behaviour like alcohol, drugs, partying, anything like that. Okay, uh, from that then we've got this kind of more disciplined approach, these opportunities coming forward and this is when these offerings will be made to you. Through these offerings you then have your victory, 
you have the thought process turning into action and you've got a new beginning coming in with them. Um, it's kind of this period of harvest and it goes quite well with the energy of the seasons at the moment with us stepping into autumn and um, it's this kind of time of harvesting all the work that you've put into this relationship and into yourself throughout the year you guys as a whole are starting to feel a little bit better now it's time to start reaping the benefits of it it's not in the you know try not to put times on it because if you put your own timing on it you're going to start trying to control the situation let the universe do it for you have full trust full capability, full understanding that the universe has got your back with it um, and that will bring this situation forward towards you. Again, October time roughly for a lot of you, end of October. Um, again, that's the collective energy so if it doesn't resonate at that time period um, we can look at it in, in individual readings. Your person's been very very strict in their thought processes at the moment um, but there is going to be this movement towards you and even if you're still with them and um, they're just a bit distant or something like that those opportunities are still going to come flying towards you some of you uh, with regard to that if you are already with them um, there's going to be a holiday kind of coming up or an offering of going away or a night away or something along those lines if you're not with them again it's either going to be heart-centered or sexual energy coming through as your offering or let's see if we can make this work let's try again or let's give it a go stability so there's two types of offerings. does feel like it's going to come over phone for a lot of you. Uh, some of you, you will meet up with them. Uh, quite a few of you will meet up with them, but that communication is going to come through telephone first or through social media. And if they've got you blocked, that means that there will be an unblocking. Spirit just said an unveiling. Um, you're going to see the truth of it all. They won't open up to you about everything they've been through because your people are vulnerable. Well, they don't want to appear vulnerable, but they are a bit vulnerable when it comes to their emotions. Um, and they don't want to put that on you. So offerings are coming when they're starting to feel alone and that loneliness will drive them towards you. Your deck number one, you split into two, what direction they will go down um, and depending on your circumstances, the offerings will vary. Um, but it's kind of, it's quite a good feel to this deck. There's a bit of nervous anxiety kind of going on. That's mainly you guys. Make sure that you are returning to sender. If you're picking up on that energy, you're suddenly hit with a wave of anxiety. Um, just make sure you say return to sender three times. Send it back to them um, because you guys are empaths and you're a bit like sponges and you soak in that energy uh, without meaning to. New beginnings, victory, things happening for the right reasons and this is also why you are kind of in this situation at this moment in time because if you came together right here, right now, the relationship would not be easy between the two of you. It would be very, very difficult because your person hasn't worked out what they want and that's why it's no point kind of pressurising them into a choice at the moment saying date me, love me, be with me, less of that because that's just going to pressurise them um, and they've got to work out in their own time that they want this new beginning with you and they will do there's new opportunities coming keep your faith there's actions stepping in um, and movement in your direction also some of you have just seen one of you specifically on a bus that is going to be happening uh, you will see them on the bus now they're going to possibly be with their girlfriend on that bus and um, but if that happens just pay attention to their body language okay and uh, so don't go all like oh my god they're on a bus with a girlfriend try not to step into that energy try to go into the energy of watching their body language and if they shrivel up a little bit it's because they're feeling nervous and worried and anxious about it all so very very specifically one of you will will end up in that equation actions movement yeah round about october as your collective energy individual timings we can look at in individual readings but that's where it is there is movement but you split between sexual and heart-based well sexual masking the heart-based and stability security and offerings of a new beginning there is a love between the two of you. There is a love between the two of you. Um, refocusing themselves at the moment. They're trying to hide away from things, just go with the flow of it while they get more stable, focusing on where they currently are and what they want in their lives. Um, lack, with a lack of contact, they're going to realise how much they miss you. Movement forward. Staying quite disciplined in their approach at the moment, but thought processes is going to lead to this coming to get you. Do not chase them. Do not chase them, let them come to you, okay? Because otherwise you're going to suffocate them and they need that time. And that's set number one. Okay, if you want me, uh, email mrlovetarot at gmail.com. Uh, website's mrlovetarot.com. Facebook's mrlovetarot. Instagram's mrlovetarot.
and you can just come find me. I can reply to direct messages on Facebook and Instagram, both of them. It might take me a bit of time, email's always best to get me because I am a super, super, super busy girl. Okay, let's do deck number two, 1450. Okay, can you get me into the collective energy of deck number two? So, as always, as you know, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, so if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date, or it's possible that you're not part of that strongest mutual energy that everyone else is. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into their people's energy, please? That sounded like a horse galloping, didn't it? Okay. Can you get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, chances, chances, changes of their people? And then take the people's watchings energy out of the deck. Just linking all your energies together, that's all we're doing. Okay, I just saw, I don't think actually it's the scene from Labyrinth. Um, they kind of merged it in together. You know, if ever of you watched one of my favourite movies ever, I haven't watched it for years, Labyrinth with David Bowie. Bowie and he's got like the crystal balls and he's kind of reeling them in his hands and what they did was they, they showed me David Bowie with his like uh, cool funky flipping hair you know and then um, and they showed me a timer you know like the salt timers that they turn over they showed me that so time in this is going to come up as um this time is going to be important in this reading okay can you tell me what actions their person is going to take towards them. Woo! What actions is their person going to take towards them? Okay, my guy's just stepped in um, and he's just said that quite a lot of you are feeling quite low at the moment and he's saying can you remember that you are all blessed with abundance and love and it's simply um simply put try not to complicate things try to just focus on the pure essence of love and why you are here try not to get bogged down with all the earthly things remember that you are a spirit having an earthly experience not an earthly person having a spiritual experience try to shake that energy up a little bit because you've got yourself into a bit of a stagnant energy um if you focus on that unconditional love and manifesting that abundance that you have this is going to shift in your favor which is why the timing of david bowie and his timing uh, thing is coming to the forefront focus yourself refocus your energy guys if you need your manifesting plans doing, give me a shout. They're very successful, they've got a very good success rate. So just give me a holler. Okay, what opportunities are coming for them and their person? What actions? Okay. So your person's got a bit of a headache at the moment. They're feeling quite stressed from everything that is going on in their life and they're feeling a bit in unstable. Unstable? Yeah, unstable and insecure. Um, they're feeling quite marked by things that have happened in their past. They're feeling insecure within themselves and they're feeling that at the moment, no matter what they do, they're going to go around and hurt people. And they really, really don't want to do that. And you're kind of reflecting that energy as well. You are picking up on them. I've just said this in deck one. Uh, please make sure that you're saying return to sender three times and sending it back to them because this is not a good vibration energy. You do not want to be in this. Their hearts are very, very heavy. There's a few family issues going on within this deck. Um, there's also a few drug issues and alcohol issues happening specifically with this deck. I did both mention it vaguely on deck number one. But in deck number two, a few of you, there is that specific energy um, of trying to escape reality and go into this little cave um, to think things through but all they're doing in this cave is manifesting more negative vibrations so if you are feeling in this low frequency it's largely because you and your personal energy is entwined um, and you're kind of merging your energies are merging together now a lot of people will say to you about cord cutting you know uh, spiritual cord cutting it's not the most um, 
it's not necessarily the best exercise for you but when you, it comes to a more spiritual relationship because your energies are so entwined that you can't just suddenly cut them out so a really good thing to do is to kind of just shut your eyes um, and visualize your person sitting opposite you see your seven main chakra points so you've got your root ch chakra which is your sexual energies uh, right at the base of your spine uh, two inches below your belly button you've got your sacral energy that's your kind of um, liquids within your body again it's another sexual kind of energy if you if you get my drift and um, you go up another one you've got the solar plexus that's two inches above your belly button that's yellow and that's all to do with confidence and things like that then we go up to your heart which is green speaks for itself throat blue communication third eye indigo spirit clairvoyance um, and then your crown which is your connection so if you just shut your eyes and visualize your person sitting there and if you see where your cords are attached to that person now what's likely happening is that your heart-centered energy this is just an example your heart-centered energy could be attached to their sacral energy so what that means is whilst you're feeling really emotional and sad about the energy they're feeling really horny you could also find that their root chakra so their security their stability uh, the basis of sexual energy basis of everything root chakra the, the one at the bottom of the spine the red one that could be attached to your heart and if they're in this negative frequency and they've got this low vibration going on and feeling insecure within themselves they're going to be putting that into your heart energy which is then making you feel insecure so if you see where they're all aligned and then just try and visualize it and try and move them a bit so you're all your crown to crown third eye to third eye throat to throat heart to heart so on so on so on so you just make sure that they line up with one another and it'll stop you kind of picking up so deeply on these energies this fear-based emotion and it will also help your person uh, to start acting wrong emotion rather than this kind of fear-based energy your person is very much fear-based at the moment acting on that there's been a few towers happened with you and your guys as uh, this has been quite a dramatic relationship it's quite I wouldn't necessarily say toxic, but it's a dramatic relationship and a lot of that is passionate based. Um, so these towers have happened, your world's been rocked, their world's been rocked, um, and now your person's acting on logic. At the moment they're being very stubborn and saying, no, nothing's going to happen, blah, 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 blah. But um, if you start doing your energy, start aligning it, this is this will shift okay this is going to be and this is why we've got the egg timer again is it egg timer we got at the start this is all a matter of timing and um, this is going to be a longer time period there isn't a mutual energy on this deck because you are all at very very different stages and um, so if you wanted to look at individual times just give me an email um but this is where your person currently is in this fear-based energy towers of hit like yours have and now they're kind of acting on logic and saying no I'm going to just go and do this escapism behavior and forget the whole thing um, and you are picking up on that and you're getting scared because you're thinking oh my god what if i've lost them for good chill chill okay just have a go at doing that exercise it'll help you feel a bit better um is it where we would suggest that you do that once a week we would suggest that you say return to sender and um, if you want to feel the ma maximum benefits of return to sender it's worth setting a timer every two hours on your phone and just doing it every two hours um which if you do it for two hours for three days, it clears the energy completely. Um, just because we forget, you know, we get into this, we're like, oh, it's me, I feel so sad, I feel so low. And we don't realize that we're picking up and then normally you can tell the energy shifted because you'll do a massive yawn or a, oh, when it's done, you'll feel that shift. So that's where the energy currently is. Now what's gonna happen from there is your person and you are gonna have this period of rest, uh, a bit of period of downtime. Some of you are gonna be worried that they are seeing other people. And again, even if the third party, you're gonna be worrying that they're sorting shit out at home. Now what's happening with them is actually they are, um, they are gonna be acting um, on a more sexual energy. Again, that's kind of part of the escapism behavior. That doesn't mean they're gonna go out and sleep with people, etc., etc. But there is this sexual pull, and again, that's because they're feeling really, really low. It is this escapism energy coming forward as well. It doesn't mean then they're gonna act on it, um, but that is just the energy they're gonna hide away with for the time being. They're gonna have a period of rest from the whole thing and gather their strength. Now, what's gonna happen in that period of rest? For the time, at the start, they're gonna be like, yeah, okay, this is really good, I've got my breathing. I've got my fresh air everything's fine and from there 
as time progresses over the four week period, they're gonna start feeling very, their energy is gonna flip. So they're gonna go from, this is the right choice, the logical energy is gonna switch into this emotional energy. And from this emotional energy, um, they're gonna realize that there is a need to communicate. They're still gonna stay in this period of healing. They're still gonna not really do much about it for a while, um, but they'll start to realize that they've turned their back on true love and that they should be looking towards you rather than away from you. So they'll gather their strength um, they are, will start to feel stronger and then the sexual energy is going to be diverted to you okay so instead of trying to think oh well let's go we'll watch certain things on the internet or we'll do this or we'll do that or we'll see who else is about rather than doing that that energy is then going to be diverted to you so this period of time then these messages are going to come forward towards you you will then get an opportunity your opportunity um, is going to be heart-centered energy uh, some of you are going to see them socially if there is a distance between the two of you and um, again spirit saying it's kind of irrelevant because distance is just an earthly thing you can ask the universe to send you a rendezvous if they've got you blocked or this that and the other just say to the universe universe what would it take to have a rendezvous with blah with total ease joy and glory and as if by magic say that three times a day until it happens it means that you might ladies you might have to put your makeup on before you go out every single time which will drive you mad uh, but earthly distance is just earthly distance it's not physical when it comes to um to earthly concerns that spirit just uh, reminds me when uh, my boyfriend went from brazil to portugal he didn't know anyone in portugal and then he met this guy uh, that he used to know from school in portugal from brazil in portugal just this random rendezvous you know it's possible when you need it and you're feeling alone and you're feeling isolated and you're feeling very very stuck you um the universe will bring it to you so rendezvous are kind of irrelevant no earthly distance or time is going to matter with that so keep that at the back of your mind you can manifest that rendezvous but you need to be in the right mind frame and um, your energies are then going to entwine we've got the helix here we speak about this don't we where your energies go whoop, 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 in and out of each other's lives at the moment you're kind of here you've got to do this turn around and come into crossing so this will be your rendezvous this will be your opportunity for a new beginning with love and um, this will be a sexual energy you kind of all split into different ways um, but there is this movement towards you it's slower movement but it's steadier movement, okay? So um, at the moment, they just need this downtime from it all. It's probably the easiest way to explain it. It's been very high in energy. It's been very intense for both of you. It's been very, very stressful, very, very burdened. Um, and we're just kind of, this reading's just from your person's point of view. So they do need this time, uh, this downtime at the moment. They're gonna partake in escapism behavior. Let them, um, you know, we can't control other people's actions. Um, it's not necessarily a need to be worrying about it it is just kind of what it is we wouldn't overly stress about it because if you do that you're going to end up manifesting it it's been an allowance that okay you're going to do some kind of escapism behavior it could be as simple as playing games game station for like eight hours on end anything along that escapism line um if it was on a sexual energy do not stress about it because you'll you guys you'll probably be energy mirroring the energy as well and you will feel exactly the same which is why it's important to align those chords if you align those chords it's gonna it's gonna decrease the, that happening okay um then fortune's going to turn in your favor they're going to think it through your energy is going to align and there's this new opportunity heart-centered energy coming towards you then they feel that the power is in their hands which is a bit of a shame for you lot they feel that they are in control of this at the moment uh, that mainly that they are the ones that have called the shots but um if you stand in your power you focus on yourself you gain your clarity you gain your energy you can move yourself forward and that means that the power will then be in your hands for when they come back to you or when they are with you stand in your power it's like you have the key to the universe they have the key to your heart okay and you because your energies are aligned you're linking in with both energies so remember who you are remember that you're a spirit having an earthly experience remember that remember that there's so many tools techniques so many spiritual laws out there that we can bring these situations around um i talk about all of them in your manifesting plans if you want one doing we can make that shift happen for you and um, you would have to do the work we can just tell you the tools and techniques you are the one that has to do the work i cannot manifest for you always i manifest for you all but unfortunately it's not i can't do that it's not in my control um 
Fortune's gonna turn in your favor, your helixes will align, and there's this new opportunity. There isn't a mutual timing on this. The timing on this is when your person is ready. But use this downtime for a period of looking after you. You know, I said this in the last reading, gain a new hobby, ask the universe for a rendezvous, have a fiddle with manifesting, enjoy it. You know, ask the universe to show you something beautiful, see what happens, ask the universe to send you a gift and wait for it to happen, you know? Well, don't wait, keep moving forward. Anything that you can release, you will bring into your life. So you can try and, you know, if you say to the universe, or oh, universe, show me something beautiful, you release it, because you're not gonna think about that, and then something beautiful will come around you and you will see something beautiful and you will see how quickly you are manifesting. And if it happens really, really quickly, you need to be really, really aware of your thoughts because if you're thinking, sorry, my phone cut out on the last second then. Um, so if you are seeing something beautiful and you are manifesting it really rapidly, you need to be really, really aware of what your thoughts are with regard to your person because you're gonna be manifesting that relationship, whether it's in a negative light or a positive light. You know, play with the universe a little bit. You're here, you've got a gift, use it. Use it for your, your, your abilities, help other people, do what you need to do um, and focus on you. Have a play, you know. Life shouldn't be so serious. I know you're in a negative vibration, but try and up it a little bit. Take note of the things in your life that make you happy and go and do them. Go spend time with your friends, go enjoy yourself. Go be with your family, start a new hobby anything to get your focus off this and, and stop it manifesting. But if you want to see how quickly the law of attraction is working for you, ask the universe to show you something beautiful. See how quickly it shows up. And if it shows up quickly, that is how fast you are manifesting. And if you are thinking negative thoughts, then you will be aware that your manifestations are happening at a rapid rate and you really need to be more conscious of what's going on in your thought process. It's hard to just change your thoughts, obviously, which is why distraction is the key element in it. If you're suddenly thinking, oh my God, they're never gonna text me. Distract yourself, go do something different, you know, go see your friends. Just keep yourself distracted, keep yourself moving. Try not to focus on that low frequency. Meditation will help as well. Lots of release work, lots of release meditations. When I say release, it doesn't mean the situation is over. I mean that you can surrender it so the universe can bring you something to you, bring it to you. Because if we hold on to it so, so tightly, we've got no chance of it coming because you're not giving the universe any space to maneuver around you. Be conscious of it, be aware. You know, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of when your person is ready. But there is new actions coming in. There is offerings coming in. It's just when, they, when they're ready, really. Um, but the time out that you two have at the moment is going to be that, that building blocks for the two of you, kind of your helixes coming back together and coming for a, a place where you're, you are going to feel stronger and you are going to feel better and you are going to feel ready for things to shift in the right direction. At the moment, if you came together, it's just going to be too, too intense. And that's step number two. So beauties, if you want to book a private reading, uh, email mysticlovetaro at gmail.com. Website is mysticlovetaro.com. Instagram, Facebook is just mysticlovetaro. Come find me. Um, and that's it. I'm sure that's it. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, the other thing, readings. I do half hour, 15 minute or single question. Okay. Lots of love, guys. Have a good week. Bye.